Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing all new Dollar Tree bathroom DIYs. This time of year, I love doing Dollar Tree bathroom decor ideas, and I have so many new projects to share with you today. So I was on Pottery Barn's website looking for a little bit of inspiration, and I saw this set of marble, like soap containers, toothbrush holders, and I thought we could recreate this from Dollar Tree. So I picked up a tray, soap dish, soap container, and toothbrush holder, and some of them were already white, but I wanted them to all be the same color, so I just started by spraying those with two coats of white spray paint. Next, I wanted to give them a marble appearance. So what I did was I grabbed a tub of water. Now you guys have seen me do this on my channel before and I wanted them to be like a gray color. So I had this spray paint that was kind of like a translucent that I decided to use for this project. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna spray your spray paint on the top of the water. What that's gonna do is it's gonna create fun little patterns. Then you can take your items and dip them into the water. Once you pull your item up, you're going to see whatever design you put in the water on your container. So I repeated this with all of my items to give them a marbled finish. I did have a little bit of trouble with the tray. I kind of had to move it around to get it in the water where I wanted it to. And the thing is, is if you don't feel like they have enough paint on them, just add more paint to your water and put your items back in until you get that desired look. Now another thing I do when I pull the items out, I'll take a paper towel and kind of wipe off any excess that I don't like the look of. And that just kind of helps as you're going through the process. Here's how my Dollar Tree marble containers look styled on my vanity. I love the way that plants brighten up any space, especially a bathroom. So I wanted to create a plant holder. I had these four Dollar Tree frames that I think I bought maybe a couple of months ago, but you can probably find something similar at Dollar Tree because they pretty much keep the same frames out most of the year. So you're gonna need four for this project. Now mine are black and gold. I love the color of them. So I went through and I pulled out that backing piece in the frame. So I wanted to have some kind of black and white picture in the frame. I grabbed some of this adhesive wallpaper off of Amazon, but you could use scrapbook paper, wrapping paper, anything you have on hand for this project, just whatever your needs are. And I'm gonna trace that around my paper where I wanna cut it out. I'm gonna cut out the four squares. and then I'll put the squares back into my frames. I did pull off that backing piece of the frame because I'm not going to need that. Then from there, I hot glued the frames together so they created a box. Now I'm not worried about creating a base to this because it's always gonna be sitting down that it doesn't really need a base. From there, you can style it with your favorite plant or faux plant. I was so excited to find these wood containers last time I was at Dollar Tree. I picked up four of them and I knew exactly what I was going to do with them. I thought they would be perfect for a drawer organizer, for bracelets, earrings, necklaces, really anything. I started by gluing the four wood containers together with my hot glue gun. Next, I spray painted it with two coats of a flat black spray paint. Now I wanted to add a little bit of design to this, but I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do. So I went into my Cricut design space and I searched for like a geometric shape. I found these fun triangles. So I put them into design space on my canvas. Then I cut them out on my Cricut Joy just with some white vinyl I had. I pulled them off just like stickers. You could really use any design that you like. And I placed them randomly. I didn't want it to look like it was in any sort of pattern. I wanted it to just kind of be all over the place. 
and I put in some of my bracelets to show you how awesome this looks. How cool would this be in your drawer or sitting out in your closet with your jewelry? If you guys love Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure that you're subscribed to my channel. I have so many fun videos planned for 2022. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that I love these containers from Dollar Tree for a bathroom organization. I have one in my bathroom now with a gold lid that I use for all of my lipsticks. They're just the perfect size for a bathroom. So I picked up three of them. I started by spraying the lids with two coats of a flat black spray paint. Now lately I've been loving a product called Rub and Buff, so I decided which one I wanted to use. I'm gonna use a foam brush to put that around the handle just to make that handle stick out a bit. So I added some cotton balls. I also had some bath salts. I think these would be great sitting out in your bathroom on a shelf or your vanity. One of my favorite items I was so excited to find were these black and white baskets. When I saw these in the organization section at Dollar Tree, I was like, okay, I'm grabbing these. I love having these kind of baskets to organize underneath my sink in the cabinets, and I just love the color of them. I wanted to personalize them a little bit, so I grabbed one of those little pallets they have at Dollar Tree, and I didn't really have the right tools for this, but I just went with it. I just started pulling the pieces of wood off, and then I used my wire cutters to cut them in half. Now, if I would have been at home, I probably would have used a saw, but you know what? I just kind of went with what I had. So I needed three of these little wood pieces. Next, I drilled a hole in the top of them so that I could hang them. And then I went in with the stain color Golden Oak and just stained them. I just do one coat with my foam brushes and immediately wipe it off with a paper towel. I let these dry completely because you don't want to add any labels on because they're not going to stick. But while they were drying, I went into Cricut Design Space and all I did was just type out in some of my favorite font, some different words like scrub, wash, hand, and I was meaning like washcloths and hand towels for those. I sent them to cut on my smart white vinyl. I just weeded them out and transferred those onto my wood pieces. I used a little bit of twine to tie them to the baskets. And then from there, I just put in washcloths, hand towels, and little loofah scrubbers. I just think these look so nice and you would never know that they were from Dollar Tree. I love when I'm shopping at Dollar Tree and I come across something that I'm just like, that would make the perfect DIY. And that's what happened when I saw this Busy Bee canvas bag. I looked at it and I said, that would make an awesome sign. So I picked it up for just a dollar. I was looking around for something I could use with this sign. And I had this wood piece that I had used previously for another sign at my office. So that's what I'm gonna be using. You could also use an 11 by 14 frame at Dollar Tree. That would be great for this too. Or you could get a canvas and put it on a canvas. So I started by cutting off the top portion of my bag so it fit right on my wood piece. Next, I had these little black nails. I think I picked them up at like a hardware store, but they're just little tiny black decorative nails. And I'm gonna nail them into all four of my corners. Next, I cut off the bag around the edges and it was kind of fraying a bit. So I went in with some black paint and just did a little bit of distressing around the edges. Then with the extra threads, I just used a lighter to kind of burn them off around the edges. And here's how this sign turned out. It really only cost me a dollar because I already had the wood and I think it's adorable. Now, if you're looking for bathroom storage ideas at Dollar Tree, make sure you go to the glass jar section because these are some of the best things you can get to organize your bathroom. I got the largest jars that I could find. I bought them in a set of three. Sets of three just look great. So I always try to buy things in sets of three if I can. Next, I'm going to spray paint the lids with two coats of a white spray paint. Then I came in with some rub and buff and put that around the edges. 
Next, I'm gonna come in with some gold handles that I already had on hand. These were ones that I was using in another project that I bought on Amazon. If I can find them, I will link them for you guys in the description box. And I just used some E6000 to attach those to the top of the lids. Make sure you're using E6000 or construction style adhesive glue for this because other glues are just not gonna hold these in place. And that's all there is to this. These are great for all those little items that you have out in your bathroom. Now, when I was doing the DIY with the palette earlier, I was looking at it and thinking, you know, this would make a really cool soap dish because wood items are so in right now. All I did with this little palette was I stained it with one coat of that golden oak stain and then I wiped it off with a paper towel and I put it out with some decorative soap. Doesn't this look cute sitting out on my vanity? You guys are gonna have to let me know if you like it. I have a podcast, DIY Disasters with Liz Fenwick. Make sure you guys check it out. Let me know in the comments which project was your favorite. I love knowing your opinion, and I'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye.